guys uh, today's uh, into this video we are just going to discuss the second part of soft computing that is what is the difference between hard computing and soft computing so there are various differences uh, the first difference that is there is soft computing is tolerant of imprecision uncertainty partial truth and approximation <clears throat> okay say in the as you can see in this diagram we have two options either we can go to this way or we can go to that way so in that case generally what our mind will think how generally we will think that in which way we have to move right if it is hard computing then in that case it should be completely precise right it should completely tell you that in which direction you have to move but in soft computing we can mold it according to our need according to our destination and goals so we can have different options and we can choose the best of them that's why it is soft computing so there is nothing certain here it's not completely truth and generally something approximate not completely fulfilled so in that case we in that case what type of computing we are using is soft computing second difference is that it is based on fuzzy logic and neural sets and probabilistic reasoning whereas if you will talk about hard computing that is based on binary logic let's take a normal example of fuzzy logic here as here in this diagram what you are seeing we have two inputs 0 and 1 so you can get one output something like 0.7 okay 0.7 is in between 0 and 1 so if we are taking 0 as cold water and 1 as hot water then in that case their mixing will give you something like warm water okay that is what fuzzy logic is it is giving some value that is not completely precise that is not completely exact value while in binary logic if you are talking about hard computing in this case we have only two options either it will be hot or it will be cold right so we don't have any other option in that case we are completely precise here that exact value of hot or cold you will get you cannot get anything in between of these but in soft computing we have this kind of option beyond fuzzy logic we have neural network neural sets and some probabilistic reasonings by which we can apply different concepts in soft computing we can have some reasoning uh, on the basis of probability that we can get some specific results that you cannot get in hard computing the third difference is soft computing can evolve its own program see this is one of the very important uh, topic or concepts we can say that soft computing have the capability of developing their own programs we have already discussed that the role model of soft computing is human mind so as human minds can develop or evolve their own programs their own instructions softwares or whatever you can say so same soft computing can also do whereas if we are talking about hard computing then they generally require some pre-written programs in which it will work and in that case they have some fixed set of instructions that it will follow if anything that is going beyond the instruction your hard computing uh, software or anything which is belongs which is depends on hard computing will be stuck it will not going to work beyond that but in soft computing you have the capability it has the capability of learning by its own it has the capability of evolving its own programs and so on the fourth one soft computing incorporates stochasticity that is the patterns that may be analyzed statically but may not be predicted precisely you can analyze them using some statistics but you cannot precisely predict what the output will be what that pattern will be for example in this diagram you have you can see the diagram of a lady so if someone asks you what is the age of this lady you cannot predict precisely that 
this lady is specifically of 30 years or 31 or 32 or 25 years right you can analyze it statically by seeing the color of hair by seeing uh, the skin texture and so on but you cannot predict precisely the age of that person that for soft computing used like whereas if you are talking about hard computing it is deterministic that is it sure see in this array if someone asks you if 5 is available in this array or not yes it is deterministic either it will be there or it will not be there right so this is what uh, the another difference between soft and hard computing the fifth one is soft computing can deal with ambiguous and noisy data again in this diagram you have something ambiguity here it could be uh, read it as 13 or it could be someone read it as b so there are two different options soft computing can deal this kind of uh, ambiguity why whereas if you will talk about hard computing then it require exit input data if it is b then it should be b it could not be 13 in that case but soft computing do have the capability of understanding or differentiating between two different options from one diagram sixth difference soft computing allows parallel computation right as our mind do you know that at a time we can do different works through our mind okay and our mind to have some parallel computation concepts that is because we are able to see different things we are able to listen we are able to talk and so on that is only because of the parallel computations of our mind and same concept we can achieve with the help of soft computing while using hard computing it is strictly sequential we cannot have parallel computations or parallel things in uh, hard computing and that is why in spite of having uh, so many uh, very good speed very good technology and so on computers are not able to uh, achieve what humans can basically achieve the things like the artificial vision or uh, listening the things or understanding the things and creating the programs reading and so on so with the help of parallel computations we can achieve this kind of activities and the seventh one is soft computing can yield approximate or uh, it basically yield imprecise or inexact answers not exact answer as you, in this diagram say someone is asking you what will be the depth of this river so you cannot give precise answer okay so in that case you will just guess some answer but if we are taking the concepts of hard computing in this one we have some specific equipments and devices then using that we can produce some precise answers some exact answers in that right so guys in this video what we have discussed is what are the different uh, differences between soft computing and hard computing uh, till yet different kind of programming or concepts that we have learned was very much emphasized through the hard computing concepts but using soft computing uh, what we can do is we can just uh, duplicate our mind we can do the activities that human minds can do so soft computing do have a very bright future and i just recommend that you all should go to soft computing and you all should work differently you all should work so concentratedly in this one so that you could do something big in this area so guys in next video we will just discuss the introduction of fuzzy logic. So till then, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much.